YouTube. It's Mitch at MobMind.com. Today we're going to be doing the top seven free city of tweaks for the new Jailbreak 7.1.2. The first one I'm going to share with you is Glow Badges. You probably already noticed it on my screen here. And it's what's giving me that little yellow glow around my applications there that I have badges on. Anything with a badge will have the glow. And you can actually, if you want to, you can change the color of the glow by coming into the settings here. Go into color. I have it set to random. So each time we open the springboard up, it'll be a different color. And you can hide the badge if you don't want the badge to show as well. The next one we're going to look at is called iTunes Scrubber. We did an in-depth review of this already, but I thought we would, we would share this one more time because I really think it's an awesome little tweak. It allows you to scrub through your iTunes songs just by putting your finger on the little scrub bar up there like I'm doing right now. It also allows you unlimited skips through your songs in iTunes Radio as well as it lets the songs load much faster in iTunes Radio. That's three pretty cool little features about it. Okay, so the next one we're going to look at here, I'm going to show you how you can get it to speak the song name between each song now playing now play okay now let's try now it. playing be good to me headstrong by ashley to and you see it it does cut Stay. it off it does cut it off sometimes but it does work for the most part pretty good. now playing are you ready greatest hit now playing animals all the right reason and you can see I'm I'm flipping them, I'm flipping through them so fast it's getting it sort of jammed up. But I'm going to pause that, turn this music off. The next one we're going to look at is one of my favorites out of all of these. It's called Panic Lock. And what this does, guys, it allows you to lock down your entire phone by just w performing one activator action gesture. And you set that gesture to anything you want it to be. You first go into the settings and you go down to panic lock preferences right here. Go to activation methods and you choose anything you want it to be right here. I've chosen triple press just for simplicity reasons here. So when I triple press, now it's locked down. My message app won't open. You see I'm trying to open mail. City is locked down. My phone app. Everything is locked down except the settings app will open. I guess that's some type of a security. He didn't want to completely lock you out of your phone in case you forgot the action gesture. You could still get back in, but the other person isn't going to know that. It lock, As far as I can tell, it locks everything down but the settings app. Okay, and that's called panic lock. And all you have to do is just do the action gesture again, and it actually turns it off. So now we can open up Cydia. You see it's opening back up. That's called Panic Lock, guys. It's awesome. The next one, guys, is called Big Bubbles. And what this does is it just simply adds big text bubbles to your iMessage, like iOS 8 is bringing. So if you want bigger or larger bubbles in your iMessage, install this, and you'll be on your way. The next one you've probably seen on the screen here since we've been doing this is this little button you see me dragging around here. That's called V Home for Virtual Home. And that's actually a home and lock button. And you saw it changing shapes there probably. And it goes from a home button to a lock button. So if we wanted to be inside setting or uh, inside of Cydia here and we're just in here goofing around and we want to go home, all we have to do is tap the home button. If we want to lock the device, all we have to do is swipe up on the button to get it to turn into that sort of that oblong shape tap that and it locks the device that easy and if you want to turn it back into a home button you just pull down on it and it'll turn it back into a home button it's that easy the last one we're going to look at is one of my favorites too called volume status that's the little icon you see up there in the status bar that looks like the little speaker you see and, and you see right now that in front of that speaker, it's not showing any type of volume coming from it because I have the volume turned completely down. 
So now I'm going to turn it all the way back up, and when we come back out, it's going to update. But you actually have to perform some type of action before it will update. You have to try to you have to open an app or close an app or do something to let it update. You saw it update up there now. Now it's showing the correct volume that I am actually displaying on my device. So if we open control setting, you see I've got full volume and that's what it's showing up there. Guys, there are seven awesome free tweaks. Some of the best we've had in a long time. I hope you enjoyed them. Please give this video a thumbs up. Help me share this and get it out there and keep coming back.